guys, it's Michelle, and today I'm going to be continuing with Slime Rancher. Alright, so on this episode, I thought I would go around first, and I would show you guys what some of the resources you get from opening the treasure pods, because as you guys know from last episode, I went ahead and upgraded to the purple treasure pod cracker. So what I want to do now is I want to go around the map, and I want to see what kind of resources you get from the treasure pods, and if it's worth it, really. So, it's been a while, guys, since I've actually went around this side of the map, so I can't really remember where some of the pods are located, but I have a good idea that some are hidden in this area. Now, I've gone pretty far in the game as well, too. Like, I am pretty... I am far ahead in the map itself. I think there's only one area that I can do right now. And then that's going to be pretty much it. And that's opening up that teleporter that's located in the lab. Now, I still do need to upgrade my 7Z club rewards. But, to be honest, it's getting very difficult. Oh, green one. It's getting very difficult just because of the amount of uh, blueprint, guys. I got a blueprint. The sponge tree. But, as I was saying, it's getting very difficult to actually progress with the 7Z Club Rewards just because it costs so much money. It's a ridiculous amount of money, what you need to pay to actually get to the 7Z Club Reward upgrades. Not been over here. I wonder if I can make that. What do you guys think? Um, that looks like... Have I been there? Yeah, that's the other location. We're gonna try, guys. See if we can make it. Alright, so we did make it, but I wonder if it... Yep. Blue pod? I got a blueprint for a red slime lamp. Is that it, really? Coming all the way over here, that's it? I think so. Alright. And then that area there must be, yep, the growth. And that's another area I wonder if I can go to. Um, but I haven't really explored down here, and I think there's a key that I can go and open a door to. So let's go over there. Alright, made it. And I'm just, like I said, I'm looking for treasure pods because I am curious to see what kind of resources I get from them and if they're actually worth it. Because that was part of the 7Z Club reward was to upgrade to the green one and then also to craft all those gadgets. Now, I'm not saying that crafting the gadgets was a bad idea because I actually did quite get quite a few resources that I needed. Oh, requires a slime key. I don't have one. Alright, well, I can come back. So, crafting those gadgets was a very good idea because I was able to get resources that helped me build things like the drone that helps me farm things around the map. Alright, so I'm back home. And it's getting crazy here. Now somebody did mention that, yeah, see the water tank is low, so thank you very much for that comment. So I just filled up water, and it's ready to go. Um, before the drone wasn't actually doing um, wasn't actually completing tasks because it wasn't filled up with water, and I didn't realize that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep until morning. And let's head back out. So I also have the Saber Slime Plort that I would like to experiment with as well. Try to combine that with something. 
and we'll see what we get from that. Because I think that will be very interesting as well. Now, if I remember correctly, I thought there was one up here too. One of those. Yeah, there is. So it looks like I'm just getting blueprints right now, guys. Maybe, like, once I've reached so many blueprints, I can't get any more, and then it'll give me better resources, but, um, to be fair, I haven't even crafted any of those aesthetic things, like those, like those blueprints, like the trees or anything, flowers, to enhance the ranch to make it look beautiful. There's a purple. Let's just get stamina back, because I don't want to die just yet. Alright guys, purple, here we go. A blueprint. <laughs> okay. And who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys really like the blueprints and you like building that stuff, but to be honest, I just don't see... I feel like the resources that you get from that should be a lot better, just because, you know, it does take a while just to get to that stage. So, let's see what's over here. Anything good? I don't see anything up here. Feels like this should be a place where they would hide something, right? Like they would hide one of those treasure pods. Oh, I guess not. They already put one around the corner, so they're not gonna put another. water to fill up my tank. Oh, purple here. Give me something good. A royal fashion pod. Okay. No resources? Who knows, maybe you don't get resources. Maybe I'm just wishful thinking here. I don't know, maybe those are very valuable blueprints as well. Alright, I think there must be one around here somewhere. The question is, where is it? Uh, my guess is that I should cross this bridge, come up here. Nope. Oop, out of stamina. Some nice fresh water. Purple. And Dagonium? What's that? A strange diamond. Well, that wasn't bad. You know, getting a diamond from that is, is not bad at all. Um, I did mention last time on the last episode that diamonds were very hard to come by, but when I was putting down the advanced, I can't remember if it was the advanced drill or the apiary or one of those advanced equipments, I was getting diamond from that and I was actually getting quite a bit. Um, one of my pumps actually gave me two diamonds out of one. So I actually was able to build two teleporters, the blueprints that I currently have. So I have teleporters as well. I'm just not entirely sure what the best place, where the best place is to place them. Because some places are very hard to reach than others. Alright, blue pod. Crystal cluster. Okay, another blueprint. I'm probably missing some down here, so let's go look. I don't know if I ever read that. Oh no, it's just a way around. Fly across. Up and over. Through the cave. And we are here. Okay, so that means I can progress a bit. Nothing up here. That I can see at the moment. Nothing well hidden. Just get 
some stamina back. And let's see, there should be a treasure pod nearby, I would assume. Let's look down here. Jump over. There's a green one that's open. Alright, a box. I think those boxes respawn because I swear I've broken those already all around here, the ones that I do manage to find. Any more pods? I honestly can't remember if there are any pods on this area, but it's worth a shot just to look, you know? So let's come over here. No pods. No pods. Any up here? Nope. Let's continue on, down and around. Now, wasn't there something at the top of this? This is where I had the party slime. You guys remember that? The, the party gordo slime? That thing was awesome. Anything up here? Boxes, chickens... Alright, and then I'm gonna fly over here. It's been a while since I've been to this island, guys. No pods. There was something at the top over here, though. What is this? Huh. Uh, that's a that's a door. Where am I? Where am I? I've actually got no idea where I am. I think this leads me to it. This leads me to another place. I need to come back here, I think, with a key. Now I can craft a key, guys. I can actually craft a key in that um, that machine that's at my home. Look, there's a lucky. Even though I wish it would give me something. It eats meat, so let's try to be sneaky and feed it some meat. It's gone. Oh well. Alright, let me go get- let me go craft up a key, guys, and I will meet you right back here, okay? Alright guys, I'm back and I have the key, so let's go ahead through the door, and let's go up to the door. And when I look at my map, guys, it says I'm in the unknown right now. So let's go ahead and press E. And where am I? <laughs> A purple pod? <laughs> Guys, this better be the best purple pod I've ever opened, I swear. <laughs> Let's see. Good. Just one? You know what? That wasn't worth it. <laughs> I don't think that was really worth it. Okay, so I guess there's only... Ooh, a new blueprint. Fashion pod remover. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Anything hidden over here? Let's see. Yep, another purple. Give me something good. Uh, red teleporter, okay. So I can build another teleporter. That's not terrible. still not the best though, guys. I was kind of expecting- I was expecting to get gold plorts out of them, but I was kind of expecting more. And I'm not trying to be greedy or anything, I just kind of expected that it would give me an abundance because this is such a difficult step to get to. Right, so let's continue on. We're gonna explore the map a bit more, and we're just gonna open up some pods and I'm gonna show you guys what I continue to get. I don't think there's anything up here. Maybe, maybe not. 
Nice little hideaway area though, isn't it? It's one of the things I like about this game though, is like how many areas are well hidden that you just have to explore. And I thought this game would actually be a bit more, um, less eventful. Like there wouldn't be as many tasks to, to do in this game, but it really is compact and there seems to be a lot that you can actually accomplish. Which I like a lot. Um, a green slime lamp. That's where I came from. And down here is where there was a radioactive gordo slime, I believe. So let's go and explore that. Let's open up another blue. A green teleporter. Okay. You know what though, I would expect that you would get teleporters from the purple pods just because that is something that I feel like everyone needs and that's something expensive. Especially when it comes to the resources that you need to actually craft them. Alright, let's continue around the corner, up and over, and let's see. Where should we go? I would like to go over here for a brief moment. And let's see what's over here. Oh, that's the cave to go back. I don't want to go there. That's a no-no. We're just gonna fly across. Hover across, really. And I'm probably missing treasure pods, guys, but there's just so much hidden areas that it's gonna be difficult. A blue here. Alright, fossils. That's not a very decent resource because you can get that with the, um, the primitive uh, the primitive pump, whatever that is. Flying over, do a bird's eye view. Let's go down. Go down some more. Come up over and around. Anything hidden? Nope. But there might be something around this corner, hidden below. Nope. That's just the area that you dropped down to when I was at that bridge previously. So let's go back up. And let's go through the tunnel. Not sure if I'm gonna go in that area and collect any of the pods. I think I'm just gonna finish it off in this area here. Because to be honest, I don't know really the map too well to know where the pods are located. So I'm just kind of flying above. That's why I'm flying so high. It's because it's better to be able to look down. But I'm feeling like I always look in these areas here the areas that are hidden underneath crevices like that because it seems like that's a well disguised area to where you could put a purple pod or a blue pod you know what and even the green ones would disguise very well in this area stuff I forgot to collect more stuff I forgot to collect which I can always grab later it's not a rush There must be some purples or blues in this area. One would think at least. Oh, purple. Some honey. <gasps> Ro royal jelly. That, guys, is also another resource that I am excited about getting. Because I need that for crafting some of the 
more expensive blueprints in the refinery. So I am glad I got that. That's a good find. I'd actually prefer that over the blue, or I'd actually prefer the royal jelly over the gold quartz at this point. I've encountered more actual gold slimes in this game than I have seen royal jelly. There's a green pod that I had opened previously. Anything hidden? I don't think so. Anything down here? Maybe. Yep. See guys, that's what I'm talking about. Like, hiding it under things like this. That's why I always check. Glow cones. You know what, when we get back to the ranch, I will craft some of these up, just to show you guys. I bet there might be one hidden around this corner. No? No. That would be a good spot. Around the corner like that. Some chickens. Can I go in that water? There's nothing around the corner. I think this is where I got my hunter slime, if I'm not mistaken. Seems so, yes. Oh, look, a blue. We'll get rid of the fossils, guys, because I don't need those. That hexacomb is used in a lot of recipes as well that I actually craft. So it's a good idea that I pick that up and leave the fossils, because the fossils are easier resources to come by. Let's fly. What is that? Oh, it's a honey slime. He's hiding very well. Alright, and you know what? I think I'm gonna head home now. I put a teleporter here if you guys haven't seen already. It takes me behind my house, I put it there for easier access. Alright guys, let's go ahead and let me deposit some of these things here so that I can actually show you what building them is going to look like. Now, I can deposit this gold plort in my market for some money, but I know that there might be a teleporter. There's a gold teleporter at the very end, so I'm going to put that in there. That actually uses that. Alright. These are some of the things that I picked up. A taming bell. Let's go ahead and just purchase this. A slime ball hoop. You know what? Why not? A stage. A blue lamp. What else? A fashion pod remover. A special fashion pod that removes fashion pod accessories from slimes. Okay. And that's it. I've purchased everything that I could at the moment. So let's go over here. Go to decorations. You know what? I will build. Well, that needs brine. I will purchase one of these. A blue. Let's go ahead and purchase a green. I like the amber color a lot. But I don't have enough indigonium. Ooh, a sponge tree. Let's purchase that. I like the sponge tree look. I like these glow cones as well, so you know I'm going to purchase that. Of course I'm going to purchase flowers. Any more honey though. Um, I'm just going to purchase quite a bit actually. Crystal cluster, that'll look cool in the cave. Oh, that looks nice. Sunburst tree. 
Let's do grass. Glow rocks, okay. And I don't have enough for the flowers. That's okay. Let's go ahead and put them down. Actually, let's look at this place. This place is a bit drag and dull looking, so um, I want to spice that area up a bit. But first, let's make it bright for you all to see. Alright. So, this area too seems really bare as well, guys. Decorations. A crystal cluster, glow cone, sponge tree. Let's do a wild patch of flowers in here, because I have to be in this area all the time. Flowers there. Okay. Any more areas? Oh, look. I can put... A strange floor that explorers often use to find their way in the night. I'll put the tree here instead. Oh, look at that. That's so much better. Over here, I think I will put... Let's put some grass. Okay. I'm gonna go to the cave and I'm gonna put the crystals there. And I might even put the glow, too, because it's so dark in here that I'd like to have some light. Decorations. I could put the crystals there, but that seems like a bad place. So I will put over here... I'll put the glow cones. Aw, oh, that's so much more brighter. And just in that corner, it makes it look a little bit better. I put down these, too. Look, guys, as you can see, fossils. Okay. Yep. Alright. Let's put over here... We could put... Crystal clusters. Because if you guys look already, look. The crystals are already on the ceiling, and that was from one of the 7C Club Reward updates that I've done. Um, this area is fine. Let's go back over here. And let's put some decorations in the lab area because this is coming along. Let me see. We'll put glow rocks here. Like, kind of like frames the entrance way, you know? Over here. Let's put... Let's try one of the slime lamps. <laughs> it's like a lava lamp, but with a slime inside. Alright guys, and that's basically what you get from some, not all of them, but some of the treasure pods. I was expecting a bit more from some of them, especially the purples, but that's going to do it for this episode of Slime Rancher. Um, on the next episode, I do need to work on some of these right here, the calls, but there was also that teleporter um, in the lab area that I need to figure out how to unlock, how to get to there. But then there's also the teleporter that leads me to Moki's um, place, so I also need to do that as well. So that'll be on the next episode of Slime Rancher. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.